All right, Nick, here's 9B number 11, A plus B cubed. And I'm trying to tape this myself, so we'll see how this works. But um, remember, that means this, A plus B, and then you could do, that's a B, A plus B squared, okay? And you can do this first. If you want to, you can write it out as A plus B times A plus B, and then you can just boil it all out. But I was trying to get you guys to learn the little trick, like you're going to take this and square it, which would give you A squared. Okay, you know to get the last term, B squared. So B squared's over here. The question is, how do you get the middle term? Well, you multiply these two together, which is going to give you AB. And then if you double it, you're going to get 2AB. So you're going to get 2AB right here. So this is that when you um, square it. And again, if you don't like this, then come over here to the side and go like this. Um, a plus B times A plus B. And then just do this. A times A is A squared. When you multiply this, you get AB. When you multiply your inside terms, you get BA, which is the same thing as AB. And B times B is B squared. Do you see these two terms are the same in the middle? And when you add them, 1AB plus 1AB gives you 2AB. That's how I got that right there. Okay. So, you've got that. That's A plus B squared. Now you still have to take it times A plus B. So here's A plus B. Okay, so what that means is you're going to take this A and multiply it times everything over here. Basically, you're given all of these another A. So, because when you multiply it in and you multiply times another A, it's giving everything another A. So you would have A to the third. Okay, that's what you get when you take A times A squared. Here you're going to get 2A squared B. Sorry about that, because that A times that A in there makes that A squared. And then you're going to get A times B squared. So you're going to get that one right there. Okay, now you're going to move over to this positive B, and you're going to multiply everything over here times that B. Basically, it gives everything another B. So B times A squared is A squared B. Usually, you just put these in alphabetic order. You could write this B, A squared. Same difference, but I just usually put the A before the B, okay? Then, you're going to take this B times 2AB, which is going to give you 2AB squared, because that B over here, B times B, is B squared. And then, last but not least, you're going to take the B times B squared, which is B cubed. Okay. Look for like terms in here. It's kind of hard. This is the only a cubed I have, so I'm going to have a cubed. Okay. Here I have 2a squared b. Do you see anything else that's a squared b? It has to be exactly a squared b. Not that, because that has a b squared. There's another a squared b. See it? Okay, so look what you've got. You've got two of them, and then another one that gives you 3a squared b. Okay. Now, look, this one's a, b squared. You can only add that to a, b squared. And there's another one, a, b squared. So you have one here and two there. So again, I'm going to have three, a, b squared. And last but not least, I have b to the third. That's it. It's ugly.